when it comes to the choices you can make with regards to the type of supplements that you're going to use or that you're going to advocate amongst your friends, your family or the people that you work with, it's really important that you understand the difference with regards to quality and impact. With regards to omega-3, there has been an industry around this for decades, which is the fish oil industry, which has tried to deliver and promise people a daily uptake, a daily option with regards to increasing their omega-3 intake. And the reason why is because there's no disagreement or argument amongst the science, the clinical research science, the exercise research science, and just the nutrition science. We know we need to consume more omega-3. It's a polyunsaturated fatty acid. It's vital. We need it within the cell. We're overwhelmed at the moment with omega-6 availability in the diet, and we need to correct that balance. But the fish oil industry hasn't worked, and there's a reason why, at core, it comes down to the missing component, which is the polyphenol. The polyphenol within the Zinzino balance oil is taken from olive oil. It's cold-pressed olive oil and it's bound to the, um, the fish oil. So the, what we have is a chaperone. So the, the polyphenol acts as a chaperone. And this is really important because without that, when we just take fish oil, when we just take the omega-3 and it starts to enter the system, well, the heat alone, the exposure to the air and the heat alone starts to damage and break down the omega-3. By the time it gets through the stomach and out to the cell, out to the periphery, there's so little of it left, it has very little impact with regards to changing or optimizing the health within that cell. But the polyphenol acting as a chaperone protects it. It protects it through that transition. And also the polyphenol itself acts, it, you know, it's, it's an anti-inflammatory itself. It blocks pro-inflammatory markers. So it enables that omega-3 to get to the cell and enables that omega-3 to get to the cell and do the job that it needs to do, which is further reducing those inflammatory markers. So this is a really important part of what separates excellent from average or excellent from very little effect. The Zinzino balance oil is unique in how it's composed and therefore it's unique in the impact that it can have and the change. It is the closest thing you can have to just simply going and eating plenty of really good quality, high nutritious fatty fish. The balance oil does that. It has omega-3, it has omega-9, it's got vitamin D3 in it. Go and have a look at the research. The mountain research that looks at the role of vitamin D3 with regards to supporting a, a, a normally and optimally functioning immune system. You'll see studies that are related to everything from cancer to metabolic syndrome to type 2 diabetes. And even now in a world of COVID-19, you will see the impact that having good vitamin D3 availability has. That's what's in the balance oil. That's what makes the balance oil balanced and it brings about balance in your system because within that cell and you are a collection of cells when we strip everything down that's what you are that's what we are and if we're not right at a cellular level we can't be right at a more gross architectural level if things aren't right at the smallest level then they can't be right at the biggest level and the fundamental aspect of our health relies on that cellular activity every single day you have massive cellular turnover and that's, you know, from the moment we're born and we are starting to develop and we're starting to mature, you know, we've got such a rapid turnover of those cells. And once we reach the age about 21, 22, that all slows down. We're no longer developing anymore. What we're doing now is starting to age. And little by little, over those years, a part of our changes that are age-related is a gradual slowdown of that cellular turnover and manifestation. But more importantly, we can advance that aggressively by not caring for ourselves, not being considerate of what the cell needs in order to contain that physiological environment. We need to have balance within the cell and that balance relies on a good relationship between omega-3 and omega-6. Exogenously, which is externally the food that we eat, our diets are packed with omega-6, but very, very little omega-3. So the common sense thing to do would be to say, well, maybe I need to reduce my omega-6 
and increase my omega-3. Or maybe you're thinking, well, I get plenty of fatty fish and I eat walnuts and I have mixed options when it comes to omega-3, so maybe I just need to reduce those omega-6s. Well, actually, omega-6 isn't that bad on its own either. And actually, when it's in balance, contributes towards supporting that you know, inflamed state and in itself can reduce inflammation so long as it's in balance. And what we've observed across the research is not so much about you know, reducing dramatically those omega-6 intakes, but increasing dramatically those omega-3s. And then within the cell, we see that change take place and we start to optimize the cell. And it's optimized in two principal ways. One, the cell membrane is in better shape. It's more malleable. And because it's more malleable, it lets nutrients in and it gets the toxins out. That's a key part. Where we see poor cellular health, we see a really rigid cell, we see it's difficult to get nutrients in, and it's really hard to get those toxins out. And so in, in effect, the cell becomes toxic because of that backup. And there are diseases related to that that you'll be familiar with. So by increasing our omega-3s, but making sure it's a good quality omega-3 that can actually get to the cell and do its job, we start to improve our health. This might not be something that is you know, overwhelming when you first start to consume the product. It might not be something that you detect early days. But once we build this into a habit and we get some consistency, you will see changes. You'll see changes in your skin. Your skin is the biggest organ. It's the one that's exposed most to the, to the natural elements. You will see changes in the quality. And why? Because it's made up of cells. And we'll start to observe and feel those changes. If it comes to exercise, your recovery is bound to your cellular state. So you're going to start to recover better. If you can recover better, you can adapt better. And if you can adapt better, you're going to get better results. You're going to get fitter, faster, stronger. So it is implicit within all of these components that you start to care for your cell health. We can't give the world 7.8 billion fish four times a week. But what we can do is we can use our best intelligence our scientific tech to create products that are sustainable, ecological, and have the exact same effect and outcome.